Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, it's another podcast. I uh, hope you guys are excited. It's another 30 minutes of joy. I'm one of your first hosts, Herbert. Ronnie. Carlos. Enrique. And Jonathan. Hey, I sound pretty hot, huh? Oh, 100, all the time. Hell yeah. All, all right, time. guys. Well, we oh, have a, guys, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, It's Halloween still. You know, it's still October. I don't know if this month is going by slow to you guys, but is it going by slow or is it, am I? I'm just, I, I think it's flying by, man. We're already, suffering. We're already more than halfway through. Yeah. Wait, why is Enrique suffering? Is like he's not even working out. Like I have long days. Oh, studying, studying. All right. What cool. about leg day? School's painful. I I miss leg day. You, would you, you rather work gym? and like a week and a half? Okay. Ooh. So you rather work out than go uh, than study? Be honest. I would rather work out than go study, but that's not how I prioritize it. That's what's up. All right, guys. No, but last week though, me and Carlos did a spooky ride. We went up to last Friday. We went up to GMR, and then I took Carlos for his first time to Azusa. How was that ride, Carlos? GMR was, to Azusa. It was a chill ride. A little scary, but it was chill. Yeah. What well, What made this spooky? The fog, dude. It was super dark. You can barely see behind you and in front of you. What time did you guys start? We started like at six thirty or six o'clock. Six. Yeah, six o'clock because we were actually already up GMR at seven twenty. Yeah, because it took us. It takes you basically ten miles up, but like when when we say up, it's up the mountain, so it's a lot of elevation gain. But uh, there was cars going up, kinda. At the very end, there's only like one or two cars. In the beginning, there's a lot because I guess a lot of people are scared to drive in the fog. You know. Yeah, I, I said there were more cars once we were coming down as we was like going up. Honestly, I think the first car I actually noticed was once we were at the top. Yeah, and then uh, it was really foggy. So, you know, we have bright lights when you bike ride. We always tell people, make sure you get bright lights such as 600 looms or more. And then you have a good back light so people, could, cars can see you. But going up, like, we couldn't see, like, what, 10 feet or... Uh, yeah, yeah like, dude, like 10 feet in front of us. We couldn't see past that. And then what are the stats in Rika? Since Rika has the stats in front. It's, yeah, because I, I didn't get to go on this ride, but I, I totally missed doing this ride from GMR to Azusa. It was, like, 36 miles. And moving time was around three hours, which is like the average that we normally get. So that's pretty cool. It's like 3,500 feet elevation. So it, it's a it's a fun elevation, mostly through the GMR. The Sousa way down also has elevation. So the, it creeps up on you. But you guys have a good average speed. Your max speed was 31 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. Hey, look, Enrique, don't get, don't get mad. But me and uh, Carlos did have a, a, a date. Um, and we had coffee up at the peak. Or not the peak, but up at the GMR location. I, I sent my demons to scare you, so I hope I hope I ruined the date. So I, I don't know if you guys saw anything spooky, but it was me probably. We did see something spooky, and we'll talk about it. But you know what? You know what I realized? Jonathan's the only one going on road dates here. I, when are we going to go on something, guys? Like without Jonathan? Never. As soon as you want. We'll keep it a secret. Actually, yeah. We'll do whatever you want. We're going to do it because I... We have to. Like, you're the only one going on dates. I'm kind of jealous. I always invite you guys, though. You guys never want to come. I, I would love to have all the bros in one date. Imagine how cool it would be all the bros just dating each other. I think all the bros are going to hang out except for Jonathan. Imagine that. How that would be dumb. Be the how best date. How that's like fun. the best date ever right like, there. Bro, that's, we, that's dumb. No, don't do that. We're going to do it. But uh, going back to the bike ride, though, we did have our coffee, though, up at the at the GMR uh, to warm us up yeah warm us up how cold it was and then we had like protein bars because you know you always have to have like a protein bar with the coffee you know or what is it the waffle the it's like the honey waffle one it's like a it's like a wafer or waffle like kind of like uh, it's it basically gives you the carbs and the sugar it's by a goo I think the company goo um, that makes it so we basically had that at the peak but when we're hanging out though mind you there's fog right and not only the fog like makes it so cold like we're cold like what i mean i don't know like, and actually you took off your jacket dude i wore my i wear a long sleeve and my sweater throughout yeah, the whole time yeah i know i took out my windbreaker and then i put it on when we were going downhill because i know you know when you sweat you know when you sweat and then you go uphill mm -hmm. and then when you start going downhill you don't really work as hard so yeah actually body. dude tell me why when we were going down it was cold but because it was my first time going down i was a little nervous and my hands were actually sweating at one point when i was pressing onto the brake my hands was slipping because it was actually sweaty. Damn, well, I thought you were talking about something. I was like, you said you went down. And I was like, bro, yeah. you still remember you the time you went down? You guys went on a bro date. <laughs> yeah, it was hey, an hey, actual you, bro date. You love going down. No, but it was fun, though. Going down, though, yeah, I saw you, though. You were behind me, and I, we were staying close to each other because we, we weren't racing. We were just trying to, like, uh, you know, stay together. I let you lead the way because it was my first time going there, so I was just following your tail. It was fun though. It was fun, and then when we went down, uh, we did take a picture. You know where Bridge to Nowhere is at? Like where the when you make the last turn to go to Bridge to Nowhere, like where it says all like East Fork Road. It says like Camp, 
like the campgrounds and all that. Mm -hmm. So we took a picture there and I told Carlos, I was like, look, Carlos, when we start going to the Azusa way, like Azusa, like Highway 39, it's going to get more busy. Like, you know, there's going to be more cars, traffic. traffic. And there's going to be people camping out. And yeah, we saw some people camping out. We said hi to them. I was like, bro, I hope they give us like hot chocolate, but they didn't. So we just passed them. And then we kept on uh, riding and we saw like, there was like a camp. They had like a, some like church. It was like a church service yeah. that we saw going on. And it was cool because like, it sounded cool. Like, because you know, it's in the, literally in. By like, the river? By the river. Like it's, ca everybody's camping now. And then Carlos was telling me like when he was little, like I guess he, he went once with his mom. Like, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I was cool. forced to go. You were forced to go. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was really calm though. That ride out, nothing happened to us. We did not get any flats. So thank you Enrique for whatever prayer. We're not going. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not going. And whatever prayer you're doing of that word, because we did not get scared of it at all. Hey, but backtracking a little bit, dude. On the uphill, we did see something that was pretty, what made the ride spooky. What was it? I, I, I don't know what it was, dude. I, we were going up and then we both saw it. We saw some creature. It was it looked like it was standing upright. We actually thought it was a person. We thought it was. and then, Yeah. And, and then you were it, shining the light at it. We're going closer to it and it was still there. It was still f like for a good like few minutes. Like during uphill or? Yeah, uphill. Yes. While we were still in Glendora, still cycling up. That's and, when we saw it. And then it was like, you know, when it's getting kind of dark and like you like you, your vision you can still see but like you know from far you like you're losing it because it's getting dark but then i was shining my light but i couldn't really like um decipher what it was until like we got kind of close to it but it was already too like it was already like it was gone like it went up the hill and i'm not talking it's like a cliff like i don't know how it went up the cliff and i was like dude like either it was either a bear or a mountain lion or whatever it was it wasn't a person so it was pretty scary, and I was like, "Bro, Did this you is." You guys trying to chase it at all? No, we we wanted to. go. When we went like to the area where it was at, we were shining the lights at it. We were trying to see what it was. Hey, Enrique, where were you during this time? Maybe that was Enrique. Huh? Yeah, um, I was chanting something to like you know spook them, and I'm I'm glad my my you're, demons showed up. You were drawing pentagrams for fun on the wall. Yeah, 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 in the middle of class. So like, <laughs> I, I was just trying to make sure that they had a great experience, and I'm glad my homie Chupacabras showed up. So I don't know, I don't know. I heard Enrique actually took a mountain climbing or. Rock climbing oh, recently, did. so also, that, it might have been him. I also heard Enrique is type was the type of kid to like etch stuff on the desk too. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, don't talk to him; he's mad right now. No, but uh, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it was though. But we did. Other than that, we uh, we didn't see anything spooky. Just the whole fog though, it made it like kind of like interesting, you know? Because I was uh Carlos's first time riding in fog, and and what I mean, you'll go in and out of fog, literally. Like you'll be riding, and then the fog will hit. And then it will disappear or like you'll drive through the fog, I guess. And then it will hit again and it'll disappear. And then once we went down to Azusa, it went away. So it was pretty fun. Uh, did you like the ride though? Was it really like, I think it's like one of my favorite rides. I'm not, a, it's one of the top five for sure around here. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll put it within my top, my top rides. Yeah. And it was, uh, we, you thought you were going to be tired. Remember you said you're like, bro, I think I'm going to be tired, but you didn't get tired the next day. Yeah, no, surprisingly. Well, I think cause my legs are pretty conditioned for the uphills. I think for overall, I'll put I'll put this right behind Mount Baldy. Oh, you like Mount Baldy better? Yeah, I say Mount Baldy is a little better. Wait, GMR to Mount Baldy or GMR? Because no, no, Mount it's just the Mount Baldy ride. Okay. No, no, GMR to Mount Baldy. That's a different ride, dude. Okay. All right. So yeah, so you heard it. So whoever wants to get into cycling, like you heard it, like Carlos will tell you he started like a month and a half ago or two months ago. What a new road bike, but overall cycling. Yeah, but I actually started April twenty one. I just saw my picture of when I first started with a cheap, like Walmart type of bike that I took up my body. Wow, that yeah. was April April this year. April twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty twenty one. You know what time that was? <laughs> <laughs> the actual time. <laughs> but let me check, dude. Like six oh two. Yeah. <laughs> nice. No, but I. But um, the cool thing, and you know what sucked? I wish I wish the cafe was open over there in Azusa. You know the cafe that we passed by. Cause they don't. It was closed, you know. The only yeah. cafe, the only cafe that is open at night is mostly Mount Baldy side. Yeah, but it's cool, dude. We had our own cafe. We did. We have. We had our own coffee <laughs> and our own snacks. So it was fun, right? Uh, thank you, Enrique, for not joining us. Um, we did want you there, but shout out to Enrique. Shout out to Enrique. Ooh. But uh, since we're talking about leyendas and um, I don't know stories, like, did you guys ever like your parents ever try to spook you, like, to go to sleep early, to not go out at night? Like, did you guys ever heard of anything like that? Because my mom used to always say, like, Yorona. Like, if you don't go to sleep, like, Yorona, te agarrar. Yeah. And then she would tell me, like, that Yorona is in Mexico. And I was like, bro, we're in, like, California. We're in Azusa. Like, yeah, like, the Yorona is yeah. not coming over here. Did she I, cross, I, I she crossed the border? Or what? 
I still get her ass. <laughs> no, for real, did you guys, do you guys any like, like any stories? My, my mom was super realistic. She, she in middle school she would try to scare me with like like if you go out in the park late because I would always hang out in the park like late at night or not late late at night but like after seven eight p.m. She would tell me like the gangsters are out there and like there's a lot of thieves, <laughs> oh, yeah. there's a lot of this and like and, and like like realistic things, right? And, and I'm just like, is gonna get you. <laughs> like, Ooh, yeah, and, and, I, and I'm like, mom, like like relax, that's not gonna happen. But like, she wasn't entirely okay. wrong, but like it was just funny because spooky will get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, like she, she she gave examples that I guess were more real, but little spooky's after you, bro. I was you like, I know him, he's awesome. You wanna get stabbed, me home? Go outside, stay outside. <laughs> hey, I bet. Hey, your mom, your mom was right though. Let's be real, like I. Imagine if, imagine if you, um, imagine if you, your mom was telling you to do stuff and like, she was right. And when you come back home, you're like, you're all like, you're part of a gang. Yeah. yeah. You're part of, you're all tied up. You come back stabbed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shit, mom, you're, right. you're right, mom. Like <laughs> I should call, not. You call 911, please. <laughs> Wait, Ronnie, did, did your mom ever tell you stuff like that? Or your parents? Your dad? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you always hear like, oh, the duende like is out there or whatever. Or the like, duende. Uh, what, what is, what is duende? Or like, or like, like and, a little uh, at least in Ecuador. Yeah. Um, it's called like a jarronca. Jarronca. Okay. Like a jarronca. So like, it's like the devil coming up like the street. So all you hear is like horses and chains and you, you better get your ass inside or they're going to get you and take you to hell. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I know it was, was wild. Yeah. So <laughs> did you I, ever believe it as a kid? That got my ass to it. No, honestly. Yeah. As a kid. Yeah. I had like a little book too with like some, oh. it was like, um, like Folklore? a picture book and everything, but oh, okay. it was very graphic and I was like, oh damn. Yeah. What about you, Herbert? Um, no, she, no, like just basically just try to scare me. And now I honestly, we, I'm Guatemalan, but we took a lot from Mexican culture, like La Llorona, the Chupacabra, the Chupacabra, dude. I remember immigration, that. like all this, all, immigration. The, all, all this, all the scary <laughs> shit. Yeah. No, uh, or what do your mom remember when you were little? Like when you go to the store and you'll be hey bad, they'll be like, look, ese mu- ese, oh, yeah. ese señor over there, allá te va a agarrar. Like that that guy over there nice, is gonna steal you. It's just it, a nice guy, he, like he, just buying groceries. He, he's smiling <laughs> at you, saying hi to you. You're all like, all like sad and scared. <laughs> no, but uh, I, yeah, it's crazy though how parents um back in the day though. Like, I think now it's like more realistic, but. Well, <laughs> Were you guys ever scared of like cops because of parents? Like kind of, dude. Uh, the cops are gonna get you. Or like pr- yeah. pr- pretty much any bad behavior. Like yeah, yeah, since yeah, the yeah. cops are the law, they're like the cops are gonna like arrest you or take you to jail. Yeah. And like and like no 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 don't call the cops don't call the cops. And yeah, I, and it was for like simple stuff. But fuck twelve. <laughs> oh, <shit. I'll laughs> what I, what I've heard on. is very common. Though. It's like if it's nighttime and you're driving in the car, you better not turn on the lights inside the car. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Or, yes. or you're going to get pulled over. Yes, yes. Dude, I, I used to I used to tell my mom, hey, mom, can you turn it on? Because I need to find whatever I dropped. Like my, I don't know, like let's say Nintendo DS. With the no, mima. <laughs> no, they'd be like, no, espérate cuando llegamos a la casa because la policía lo va a parar. And I was like, is that true? And then like, I never, never looked heard, it up. I've never heard that. No, yeah. no. You, you didn't grow up like that. I no, never, yeah, they told me like, don't turn. That's why you're all broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that. But no, uh, yeah. we used to do it though once in a while. And then when I grew up, I started like thinking of that. But I was like, no, like, what are they gonna do? Like, you're turning on the light to see inside yeah, your dude. car. Like, but I don't know. It's, it, it, you're right. That stuck with me for a while until mm-hmm. you know what I remember now. You know, one of the scariest things as a kid is like getting lost. Oh, like, in the that, store. That, like that's those few couple seconds where like your parents aren't there and like you're already thinking of scenarios like. I'm done. I'm okay. never going to see those people again. Did you guys ever get lost though? <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. Because yes. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Multiple Everyone tell times. Their story. Everyone tell their story. Everyone. Okay, Herbert, go. You want to go first? Okay, I do remember the first time in, um, I do remember in Redondo Beach. I got I got lost. I want to go throw away, uh, we were done eating, so I want to go throw away the last, my plate. And then when I come back, they're all gone. <laughs> they're pretty good. No, no, they're all gone. And mind you, you know, in Redondo Beach, like uh, that place is like, you have to get your own table. So there's already another family there. So I don't know how long I was gone, but I remember another friend was already setting up. So I'm like, huh, they're not here. And mind you, I'm like eight. <laughs> so, okay. I'm like, I go upstairs. There's two levels and they're not there. There, They're not there. Okay. I'll go back because <laughs> I go back to the other tables. Like maybe they went, they went back to go look for me. They're not there again. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. They're not there. So That's my, a random place to check. <laughs> so, you no, went but, to the, well, I, now I'm not thinking <laughs> no, of but, like, but, but it's funny because for me it was similar. We're like, I, I moved. And yeah. it, when you're a kid, you're told not to move, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you panic and like logically speaking, so, like I want to find it. I can, I can predict where they're going to be. And like, and you walk around and get even more lost. And then when your parents look for you, like they'll never find you. So now, <laughs> now I'm contemplating. Okay. This two minutes have passed as a child. Now this is a long time, right? So, <laughs> so I'm literally just, two minutes. Sta- I'm standing next to this family thinking maybe they can help me, but they were white. So I didn't talk to them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, okay. That's the opposite of what I would think. So you would now, think. now, now I see a cop 
And my, now the panic is setting in. I'm, I have like two minutes without my parents. I think I'm never going to see those people again in my life. I see a cop. I like, well, I'm slowly walking up to him crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I liked, I remember tugging on his shirt. No, I, no, I tugged on his gun. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tugged on his shirt. He turns around. I was like, sir, I can't find my parents. Can you help me? He's like, yeah, sir. Yeah, of course, kid. Like, what do you, like, how do they look like? I don't know. Like, Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> you did not say that. <laughs> no, I remember, like, I didn't, he asked me, I forgot what I said, but like, I can't. I you should have a picture it. of your parents. Black and white. It's just like the black and white. It's the Tapatio bottle. I just have one on me. Um, so this time, I'm already thinking about, like, I'm going to go into the foster, like, I'm going to go into the foster system. I'm going to meet a new family. I hope I don't get my ass beat with this new family. Oh, my God. Like, I'm like, I'm not even kidding. I still remember this because I was so scared. I'm like thinking about, like the new family, the foster care is like, how, I'm going to have like a nice story when I actually like, I make it. Okay. Up okay. System. Okay. But when, when your parents found you, cause usually the, the, oh, yeah. the reactions Those are funny. They, they either love you and like, Oh, Miko, like we, we, we were scared you were this. lost or they, they get you in trouble. They scream at you. They no. fuck you up. You know what these, these animals were doing and I had beautiful parents and I had almost an inkling to call immigration on their ass. <laughs> I, know shit, I know shit. They don't You're know. an aggressive eight year old. I look at them and they're just pointing at me laughing. It's like, ah, mira lo. Mira lo que está haciendo hablando con la policía. Uh, so I, then I, and then I look and then I'm like, you know, my, no, the, the cop is helping me look. And then I make eye contact with my parents and they're just laughing. Like, oh, que estas haciendo, mijo? I was like, <laughs> I, I got mad at them. So now I'm scared, but now it's anger. Oh. Now, now I'm just angry. But the, cop, but the cop's there, though. The cop's there, so he's like smiling and he put me to my. Yeah, he showed you me didn't grab his gun or nothing, though? No? no, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. You think this is funny, mom? <laughs> just out of nowhere. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. No, but yeah, yeah. I was mad. And then next thing I know, like they got me ice cream and it was all over. Yeah, but, I remember. What about nice. you guys? Well, so real quick, well, mine, it was, it was it was not like as intense as yours. Mine was like probably like a minute, but th that minute feels like. Yeah. Like forever, you know. Yeah, but I was in uh, Mountain View, so you guys know uh, some of us here went to Mountain View uh, Elementary School. Uh, Enrique did because I knew him since kindergarten. But we're <laughs> in, yeah, we're in Mountain View. So mind you, it's like you know school just ended, so everybody's walking. And mind you, a little short Jonathan, you know, walking around with his parents. And then I don't know why I started like you know sometimes when you're little, like you just see something and you just start paying attention and like you just stare at it, like. Anything amazes you. And that makes sense. Like you see something like, oh, those are cool shoes. And you'll be looking at the shoes for a while. And then you look up and bam, like, where are my parents? <laughs> and they're like, dude, mind you, you're short. You're short. So you can't really see over people. So what do you do? Like, dude, that, that instant, like heart, like your heart starts pounding. Like Herbert yeah. was saying, and you're just like looking around and you want to cry, but you're like, yeah. no, like there's people looking at me. So yeah. Next thing you know, like I just kept on looking for them. And then they were, they're like literally like 10 steps in front of me, but you can't see anything. Cause there's a lot of people yeah. walking by, but it's like, I don't even know if I told my parents, like, I, I don't even know if I got mad at them. Cause I think they, they didn't notice I fell back. They just kept on going. So yeah. I don't know. So it was pretty scary though. Like I, and I think in the store once, like in Walmart, but like my dad, it was just another aisle. But it's like kind of like I don't have a phone. Like who do I call? Like, you yeah, know, th it's crazy scary. how those few like seconds are. They feel like an eternity when you're a kid. Yeah, because like, you always need. Uh, with the, they're, they're always around. When they're not around, it's sounds like it's weird. In her, uh, I have a couple because I, I was a very curious kid and I was a very oh, active, moving or? kid. And um, I, I guess the funniest one was when I was. You know, as a kid, how like there's like five long aisles of like clothes hanging or whatever, and you would always move between them. You would you you would l put your face through the clothes and end up on the other side. So like I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> and then obviously after doing that a couple times, I I I lost my my ge geographic side of where I was. I lost my my location. And so my, my logical side would just, just keep running through clothes until you find them. <laughs> 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 Again, does that make sense? It made sense to me. And I, I was just running through clothes like until the end, I ran to like five clothes lines, ran back, ran forward. My mom did not care. She was still looking for clothes because she just assumed I was on the other side. And it took me like maybe a minute to find them. But I, I was terrified. There was other instances in, in the mall. I would always get lost in malls because I would always just run off. So like, I'm just stupid is what I'm trying to get out here. <laughs> like I would just get, it's almost like I got lost on purpose because I saw something interesting. So like offer me candy, where at bro? <laughs> Damn, I'm lucky like, no white man showed up. <laughs> oh, you're the easy target. I was like, where dude, free candy? <laughs> Let me tell my mom, don't tell her. I got you, bro, I'll bring her some. But then like, so then when you're 18, I was like, hey kid, do you want to go to Kuwait? Like, hell yeah. Like, I'm like, hell yeah, just, just do it, man, let's do it. But I mean, it worked, that, that, I mean, it all makes sense. It, works, it all it makes sense. Wait, Carlos, have you had any uh, instances when you almost lost your parents? I actually do. You guys are probably gonna think I was stupid. 
No, you are. It, it, <laughs> Wait, this happened. This happened like last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were in the checkout line, and I already about to pay it, but I don't know for some reason I closed my eyes. So I was all excited that, it, and I still remember it was a Toys R Us. So it was the one in Azusa, and we we're in the checkout line already. My parents were gonna buy me something, but I closed my eyes and everything. I'm just messing around, playing around, all excited, and. In my mind, I think my parents are right next to me, and I just continue walking. And as I'm going, I actually, I don't know what I was thinking, but I walked outside, but I walked with the family that was in front of me, and I'm walking out, and then I'm still right next to them. And once we're going to the car, I look up, I'm like, you're not my parents. <laughs> did you yell that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> and I just look at them, and I started crying. <laughs> yeah. but in my Thinking about it, I'm like, these people were just letting me walk right next to them. They weren't saying anything. I'm like, what the heck? What's going on? They're just going to let a random kid just walk with them to the car. <laughs> and then when I look back, I see my mom running after me. She's like, donde vas? Donde vas? <laughs> That's funny. That that actually, it's true. I've, I've actually held on to an, another man's hand for like a solid two minutes. I was walking for a while with this guy holding his hand. And like, I, I never looked up, I'm small, but I mean, my, my world is my, my eye level and down. Yeah. And literally I grabbed this man's hand thinking it was my dad. And for the longest time, literally like five, seven stores walking straight, I was holding his hand, just being dandy, walking around. So eventually I looked up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had that <laughs> like, same thing. Like, you're not my dad. <laughs> I had that same thing happen to me at the Swami here in Azusa. Same thing, and then my uncle just laughed. Like, what is it with my family just la just laughing at stuff? They, they don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> like me, I stay away. <laughs> no, but I think when you're little, like a lot of people don't see like, oh, like that little kid wants to hold my hand. Like, I'll hold his hand. You know, like yeah. it's like, oh, maybe he he doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know. You'll yeah. do that. You'll let, you'll let a little random kid hold your hand. Well, if, if it's cute, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. You see a cute member in Hawaii. Remember, a cute oh, little yeah. kid came up to us and oh. just started walking with us. Yeah, this yeah, it's cute. You just like let him walk. Like yeah. what? Do you, like the mom can see though. The mom yeah, can see, the but the kid, the kid doesn't know though. You know what I mean? Because yeah, the kid's yeah. tiny, so the kid would just like just hang out with us. And I was like, hey, well, he's hanging out with us. We're walking, and he the started, mom's behind us. He started holding like Monica. He was like holding, trying to hold someone's shirt. Like he held he held Monica's shirt for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was a cute little kid. Hey, those kids are Aww. trying to run away. They're not. They're not lost. Like, take me out of this island, please. There's no jobs. <laughs> please take me. Please. Take Inflation me. is crazy in Hawaii. He's like already complaining. He's like, make me a baddie, please. Now just like, hey, Ronnie, have you heard? Have you done anything crazy like that? Okay, so going back to getting lost, I, I did. You always get lost with boys. I think I could top all you guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, oh, so no. this was this is back in Ecuador, 2002. I was like seven years oh, old. Oh, damn, we got a year. Yeah, dude. Damn. Me and my older brother, Kevin, we went to go see Star Wars Episode Two, Talk of the Clones. Whatever. Movie ended. We're walking out. Um, think of like a shopping, like, like, a, like a shopping plaza, shopping mall. So, like, we walk out of the theater. We come out. Um... And then we go to like a Macy's type of thing, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm little, you know, I'm playing and I'm walking through the clothes and I'm running through the clothes. And then like my, my older brother's like trying to catch me, like hide and seek type of sense. And then next thing you know, I, I can't find Kevin. Like I can't find my brother. And I was like, what the heck? So I'm like going through, like I circle back and nothing. So at a theater, right? this was at, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. After the theater, we went to like a Macy's. Then. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But I couldn't find them. And I was like, holy crap. Like, I lost my brother. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So my mom and my younger brother were at this other shopping plaza, like two blocks away. Oh my God. You did not decide to go over there. So I was like, <laughs> you did not. You did not. So I was like, okay, well, I, Kevin's nowhere to be found. I don't know where he's at. So my seven year old ass was like, well, I know my mom's there for sure. Like, I, let me go find my mom. So I walk out of there. I walk to the store and I'm running, dude, like two blocks. It's like Central Park, like, like in mile, Ecuador, you know, like, like I, I'm walking through like a park. I'm like running. A mile run or what? Basically, man. Like, I did like a half you marathon that day. Did you put your straw on? Or what's up? I should have, man. I should have started that app. But, um, but no, yeah, I ran and I made it to, I crossed the street and there was like a bus stop. And I remember a bunch of people were there and I, I remember seeing a woman and I was like, oh my God, like, that's my mom. So I go up to her, I run, and I was like, hey, like, I kind of, like, tapped her. And she turns around, and it's like, it's not my mom, dude. Like, she just looks at me, and she's like, what the heck is this kid doing? So I was like, oh, man, like, I, I thought it was serious. So, you know, like, I, I go up to some steps, I'm looking around, I'm like, 
where's my mom because we we would have to take the bus back home we didn't have any like oh car yeah yeah so we took public transportation um but i was like okay like on the second floor of this shopping plaza there's like a there's like an arcade where we we (laughs) would always go so I was like, he, he takes a thirty-minute break from finding his parents. <laughs> no, but yeah, at that time though, at that time I was, the bite to eat. I was freaking out, and I was like, Plays oh games. man, just like Herbert, like I had, like my whole like life ran through my eyes. Like, yeah. what are the possibilities? I was like, honestly, like if I can't find anybody, like, and there's no cell phones at this time. Like, I, I barely even knew like my address, my phone number, you know. So I was like, man, I'm gonna have to live on the streets. Probably have, to, I'm probably gonna have to sell like bubble gum on the buzz. I'm about to learn an just instrument. to make do, man. Yeah, like this <laughs> sucks, dude. Um, <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. Like I'm gonna be one of those kids, like asking for money out here, man. <laughs> There's uh, some kid like you don't want to be like him, just stealing yeah, chicle. I'm selling chicle like on the buzz. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, this sucks. So I I run up and I'm at this point I'm like hyperventilating, like I'm scared, dude. I'm scared of my mind. So I go up the second floor and my mom is there, dude with like my little brother he's like i don't know he's like two years old and i go up and i'm crying at this point i was just so happy like i gave her a big old hug and i was like mom like i lost i lost kevin like she's like what the heck did you run here (laughs) and i was like okay okay okay. so kevin's side of the story must be interesting because if he if he you were his responsibility and you're happy as ran two blocks he must have been panicking himself like i lost my little brother my mom's gonna whoop my ass oh yeah and he must have been looking for you back and forth and you're over here like across the block yeah so like what if they didn't think ronnie was lost i was i was so happy though like so my mom was like oh my god like where's your brother and i kevin at this point was like i don't know 10 or so so we go back and kevin's kevin stayed put like he's he was smart (laughs) because he was like okay if anything happens like Obviously, my mom and un, and Ronnie's gonna find me, you know. So like, we go back and then yeah, Kevin stayed put. And he's like, hey, like, where the heck were you? You know, like I think he was a little mad. That point, I feel like my memory kind of goes blank a little bit. It was just that like trauma, <laughs> in a sense that that just stayed with me. Yeah, you know what? But I don't yeah, remember dude. a lot of when I was a kid, but I do. Yeah, there was like specific moments I do remember. Like yeah, getting scared like that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. So that was like crazy for me, man. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I don't know. That's that. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, no, yeah. that's crazy how when you're when you're little, like you're you just like see your whole life flash. Like you just start thinking of stuff that you're like you never thought of before. Yeah. Whatever you start like getting stuff from like movies or yeah. whatever or like whatever you see in the street, you're like, bro, I'm gonna be that one guy that like you said sells gum or like food or snacks. But yeah, uh man. It's scary though, and that's spooky though. That's it's scary for you know, when you're a little kid, like you don't you're like you don't think of bad things until I guess you're you start panicking right like in that moment in yeah. that moment and then so i don't know so i feel like uh I, I thought yeah i thought carlos was gonna say that he got panicked and like in the bike ride he's like bro i lost i lost jonathan <laughs> i just say no but we had a good time though um but yeah dude um don't if you have kids do never uh lose sight of them Wh- what is it put that little backpack on them the little monkey backpack the one with the leash <laughs> or a little balloon put a oh, balloon, balloon. Put a balloon or a bell or a bell put a bell on them bell. No, no, no. I'm gonna put a GPS tracker on my kids. Okay. No, yeah. Oh, the Apple, Apple, Apple would, AirTag. Dude. Apple AirTag, yeah. AirTag that kid. No, but yeah. So let's go now towards uh, what we do have October 29th. Don't forget, guys, 29th and the 28th. We do have Pumpkin Rock. If you guys never been to Pumpkin Rock Trail in uh, Drupa Valley, you got to come on down. Super easy hike. Bring your kids. Bring your family. Bring your costume. Bring your costume, please. Hey, but keep an eye on your kids. Don't lose them. Yeah, please. <laughs> We're not trying to have a. 20 kids follow us because we have candy and so <laughs> no but they are going to give candy out though and um i know that we always I thought, sa- I thought we're going to give out trash bags so they can pick up trash that too trash and candy there you go so you keep your candy throw away your wrapper the wrapper and instead of littering it so yeah guys uh real quick though let's just end it like this uh last thing i know we talked about this a while back but i want to see if your guys's responses change uh, when you guys go trick or treating, I know now we don't because we're kind of older, but it doesn't really matter, right? It just it's just a number, so you can still go trick or treating. So, what's your favorite candy? Go, Herbert. Last thing, go. So, Some I want Snick- people to know what Snickers. Snickers. Like, oh, I mean, when I was trick or treating, what would be like? Oh shit, I got this. Like a fun size or like a. a it full doesn't size, matter. Full I think bar. I think I agree with him. Yeah, Snickers. Uh, Reese's. A Reese's with. I, the- I think anything chalk like Twix, Snickers, oh, but I, Snickers. I, I, I think like I mean, Twix, like like Snickers had had that that like mm. you got that's like the first ones you would always eat. Yeah, but anything chocolate like I would always love. And Carlos, the Hershey's Crunch Bar. Oh, oh okay. really? Hershey's so, Cookies and Cream. Uh, Dude, you know what? That's a rare one. I don't see those a lot. 
I don't. Did, they, I even, did they still sell them? Right? Yeah, they do. They still yeah, they sell, sell them. them but yeah. I don't remember getting those a lot as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, guys. Oh, and then real quick. Um, so you know how we're in pumpkin spice latte season or the PSL season? Well, our favorite coffee shop down the street called the Reverse Orangutan in Glendora. So the Reverse Orangutan, they have this uh, seasonal menu, and I tried their yam spice latte. Yeah, it's yam spice latte. So they make their. I, I'm assuming they make their own syrup there. Like, uh, you know, they make it there and they add the yam spice latte. And it's really, really, really good. If you haven't tried it, go on down and get yourself a latte there. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ice or hot? I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it oh, a review. And, and real quick, though, uh, when we had, you know, we all, when every time I have like a bro day, I always like to take my bros to new places. And we, I took uh, Carlos to his first time. He went to Mantra in Azusa. So he ended up having a, I think he had a matcha, right? Yeah, a matcha a green tea. With the oat milk or something like that. And it was really good, though, that night. Huh? It was pretty yeah, good. Actually, you took me to two places for the first time, to Mantra and Congregation. Congregation. Yeah, and Azusa. So it was a pretty fun ride. So that's like sometimes when we go bike riding, yeah, we do exercise. We did hit 35 miles, like you heard it before. But we actually ended up having, you know, a coffee and uh, one beer. Because I was like, you know what? Let's cheers to this, you know. So it was a fun night. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned. I've been posting on TikTok more like workouts. So if you want to learn about some new workouts and stuff, go on TikTok and you want to hear our podcast. We have it on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. And we don't forget, we have the Instagram reels and stay tuned for more like hikes and stuff to come. And yeah, we love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.